All right, guys, there's a lot new at Eagle, a lot. And this is one of the masterminds and the brains behind it. This is a new Ego commercial. Commercial CTR, mower. yep. Why do you say commercial? Well, I think it's important. I mean, this was designed clean sheet from the ground up to be a commercial mower and set aside power source. That means there's a durability standard, there's a ruggedness standard, there's living on the back of an open trailer and the pouring rain standard that this thing has to live through. And, you know, even something unique about commercial riders is like, the guy who's operating it isn't the guy who paid for it, so they don't always treat it the best. So we know that this thing's going to get abused. It has to be built to that standard to really take that that abuse that will be dished out to it day in, day out. Okay, so all you've talked about is abuse, abuse, and abuse. What, what makes this what makes you say that this can hold up to that abuse, Conrad? The overall build quality, everything we've done from like the quality of the steel, the I-beam construction, how thick of tubing we've used here, like. It's built strong, big steel, I-beams. It's, it's built differently. It doesn't share a single part with our current Z6. So no, no, nothing rolls over. This is nothing. brand new from the ground up. Correct. 48 inch, what's yep. the sizes? 48, 54, and 60. 48, 54, and 60. And power as with battery has never really been a problem. Because battery, in my opinion, it's, it's I've been convinced that battery, the torque of battery has all the power that gas has. The problem is runtime. Correct. What did you guys do to solve that? Uh, so what we did is we developed a new battery. So here you see our new 2.2 kilowatt hour LFP batteries. It's a large format battery. Um, so this will take four. There's three here and then there's another bay just on the other side of this. Um, so what these are is the ability to like a, to give you the right amount of runtime. So what we noticed in talking to users over the years and trying to understand their businesses is guys who bought these sort of big CTRs that have built-in batteries. We're sometimes only using 20-30% of that charge during the day to like get through a day of mow and blow, that kind of thing. So we wanted to make it possible for them to have the flexibility to right size their choice. When you are only using 30% of a battery on a $40,000 mower, you're paying an extra $15,000. That's a $40,000 mower? No, this is sub 20. Sub 20, all right, so let's not, let's not put this into that $40,000 no. category. How far will this go? How much can this mow? Uh, this mode in this configuration will do six to eight, and then with another battery, that'll get us up to the 12 to 14. So acres. So this, so this will do 12 to 14 acres. Yeah, by the time we launch. And the average guy that's out there mowing really covers around we, eight acres. Eight acres, six to eight acres, sometimes 10 during the day. Yeah, okay. that's what we found. So eight to 10 acres. So a guy should not have to recharge this, mm -hmm. but if he wanted to recharge this, he could just bring an extra battery along right. with yep. and pop these out Correct. and keep going. What if he's got the regular Ego batteries that you guys have? Not a problem. And now all of your other tools. If, that's the cool thing. So where these slots are, we have an adapter that'll launch with the vehicle that will take two Power Plus batteries. So if we have some of those users that bought like 52 inch resi motors, we have landscapers that bought 52 resis to right. use, yep. and they have all these 12 amp hour batteries. We got you, man. You can buy the tool, get the adapter, use those 12s in the machine. It's our brand promise, all batteries, all tools. All batteries, all tools. So you're not stuck with just using this battery. Correct. We're platform. not stuck. We're not this one gives you the optimum runtime. Correct. Okay. All right. But you didn't stop there. You've got more stuff that you guys have built, right? Correct. All right. We're gonna check out some more stuff. So let's go there next. All right, guys. This awesome. is mini bike. Ego mini bike. Ego mini. Conrad, what do you do for Ego, by the way? So I'm a senior product manager for everything you ride, and then I also have uh, control over like walk behinds as well. So you developed this. Yep. So this has been in development for two years. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So tell me a little bit about this. So the spirit of it was like honestly, sort of some of that old school, like you know, fat tired mini bikes from back in the day. Like love those. That, that Grew we, up on one of those. I, they're awesome. They're fun. They're yep. so we sort of we saw them and we we're like, you know, this is really neat. But we could, you know, so we bought a couple. We're like, oh, we could do this a little bit better. We saw there was like a resurgence. There has been a resurgence. Yep. Yep. And that, but you immediately we started to see things that we like we loved about them. But there was stuff like, oh, we, we want to change that. You know, like they a lot of times have a straight frame and they don't have any like they have a couple springs under the seat. So we wanted to give it like real suspension. 
Um, they all have chains, which adds complexity. But this is something that's fun. Fun shouldn't take a lot of maintenance. So we went hub motor. Hub motor. The motor to this is right there. It's just it's just the hub. So there's no drivetrain. There's no chain to lubricate. There's no gears. direct drive power. Yep. It's got to give you instant torque and instant oop. You put it in the back wheel. Yep. So this thing has got. I've never ridden it, but I'm gonna guess this is a wheeling monster. If the, with the right, yeah, you probably can. You have time on ATVs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I used You're to, have I used to run them and race them back in the day. <laughs> it's a younger man's sport. At least that's what my back that's tells me. That's what your back tells me. <laughs> yeah. uh, so dual port, so it fits two batteries. We'll kit it with two batteries. Okay. Um, two 7.5s. Two se it comes with. It could come with two 7.5s. Yep. And that will give you how many uh, how, how many miles? Uh, up to 20 miles. Up to 20 miles. You can put a third battery yep. in here. It's got storage. It's lockable storage, but you can put a third battery in there if you want. You can put a raincoat in there. You can put yep. a battery in there, and then you could go 30 miles. Yep, exactly. Okay, with three. But if you do, you have space to put a bigger battery. So yeah. So like again, all batteries, all tools. So like if you have a ZTR and that ZTR has like. 612s? Yes. Go, we're going to sell it as a bear tool. Go buy two bear tools and just boom, boom, boom. And you're going like 40, 50 miles or something. 40, 50 miles. With, with three 12s. With three 12s. And it goes, what's the top speed on 28 it? miles an hour. 28 miles an hour. It's got a nice seat. You've got actual <laughs> real suspension uh, in the front. Yep. Dual hydraulic disc brakes. Um, that was something else we wanted to solve for in those uh, old mini bikes. A lot of times they were like drum brakes, right. like a rear single drum brake. Right. And yep. but if yep. you want to go fast, you need to be able to slow down. You have an odometer on it. Yep. So uh, there'll be a really nice screen, very clear screen that lets you customize between sport mode, normal mode. There's actually parental controls. So if you take the seat off and you got like younger kids and you want to slow them down a little bit. Um, you can take the seat off, flip a switch, it puts it in a parental mode. What's the price tag on this bad boy? Two grand kitted. Kitted means charger and batteries. Yep. Unkitted? $12.99 bare tool. $12.99 bare tool. So if you've already got batteries, just go buy your, that's the best Christmas present you can. And it's tax deductible. Yep. Go drive it out on the farm, go check the cows, and it's tax deductible. Hey, Take I like it from that. there. That's yeah. all you gotta do. Just learn something today. Go bring it out to one job site, because you had to go check that thing out, and now you've just saved 30% on the price of that thing, but you didn't hear it from me. Okay, I'm back with Conrad, and he's one of the main designers for everything that you ride on and <laughs> have fun on. You guys created a lawn track. Yeah, so okay. this was something where, you know, obviously we launched the ZTR in 2021, and we've come out with other ZTRs along the way. Uh, but we've had demand, like I follow the groups, we follow Reddit, we follow Facebook. We have a lot of users that wanted a tractor. And you want a tractor, one, because you hit a different price point, it's a little bit lower. The other thing is people that have tractors tend to be a little bit more utility driven. Right. They tow trailers, they have yards, they maintain, all this yep. kind of stuff. It's more than just about cutting grass. Right. Um, so some of this stuff is pretty familiar. Um, six port bay. Okay. So take six batteries, we kit it with six sixes. Part of the six sixes is it's a little bit smaller battery than the four than the than the four tens that come in like the other Z's. Okay. So um, when you put that ten into a string trimmer, you can do it, but it's a little bit heavy. The six in a string trimmer, a brush cutter, a chainsaw is actually still a really nice feel. So we wanted to keep even how we kit it, sort of driven by utility. Um, storage. Storage here. You got your nice dash laid That's out. That's a dash laid out here. Charging board. So charges. Think of, you know, if you guys have an electric car and you just plug that son of a duck in, boom, that's the same thing. That's the same way you charge all of these things that you guys, I mean, Correct. the lawn tractor, the ZTR, yeah. Okay. So um, here's your deck height adjustment here, right? What else do we want to know about it, Conrad? Um, you know, the, the the aim here was to, again, sort of hit a, a price point. So we had $39.99 kitted. And when is this coming out, Conrad? It'll be ready. Q1. Ready Q1. Yeah, it'll, it'll be shipping later this year and, and ready and available by um, January. I mean, it's the same deck as the ZTR. There's a lot of familiar here. We're just trying to hit, like, a, a price point and utility-driven product. Okay. Um, cool. So that's it. Let's go check out the next one. And Mia, you are going to show us this. This is a brand new snowblower coming yeah. out by Eagle, right? Completely brand new, 28 inches, six feet of throwing distance. It's pretty 
start check this out. This is the coolest part. Watch that. Look how fast that thing goes. Do it side to side. Totally is. I'm barely even moving my hand. Super comfortable. Super easy. Gets the job done. This is self-propelled now. I'm hoping it's self-propelled. Yes, self-propelled. Okay. Um, powered by two Ego batteries right here. We got two 10 amps in here. You want to open that up? But this isn't really lot. You can use any any Ego battery you can that Ego has. Any battery, one battery, one platform. So any of your tools, you can swap it out with your e-bike, your pressure washer, a mower, anything. When is it coming out? This is coming out 2024. 2024. So how big is this? Is there a size on it? Um, so this is 28 inches. Minimum it's our biggest two. one yet. 80, 80, 80. What's the biggest snowblower you guys make? Yeah, the biggest one today. 60 feet of throwing distance. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Amazing. So All right. Nice. Guys, I think I'll have a, a chance to test that one out this oh, winter. Oh, yeah. But you've also used the same technology in another one that's coming out this year. Yeah, right over here. It's just a little smaller. So uh, if you don't feel like heffing around the big dogs, this one gives you the same throwing distance. You didn't want that. 50 feet, 60 feet. Exactly, yep. 24 inches versus 28 inches. So if you've got different options, right? But it also has the same heat and handle grips. Yes. Okay. And then if you really don't need something this big, self-propelled here. Right. We can come down the line over here and we have our two other snowblowers yeah. as well. And then the 28 just So then these are great. I love these because we can we pick these up, throw these in the back of the truck. Yeah. We pick them up, throw them on decks, we can clear off decks. So they got steel augers, so that's an important thing to note. So steel construction all the way through, so it's pretty heavy duty. Those are the new snow blowers by Eagle. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> As we break everything.